Hi friends, welcome back and today we'll be talking about the crypto space. We'll be looking at which are the best coins you can look at investing into and which are the coins and the crypto exchanges which you, you should definitely avoid. So we've seen what has been happening in the crypto space. There has been a crypto winter where Bitcoin prices have corrected from 69,000 to 20,000 and most of the currencies have corrected as much as 70 to 80 percent. In fact, a lot of currencies have been got wiped out. Uh, you should be aware of what is happening in your, in your environment in the crypto space right now and which exchanges you should be trading at so your investment doesn't get blocked. So the first thing is, I like to tell you is rather than just depending on the exchange, you should also keep a physical USB or a physical wallet to store your cryptos so that it because most of the hacks actually happen on the crypto exchange rather than on your personal computer or on a physical wallet. Apart from that, let's move on to which coins and which exchanges you should definitely avoid. So if you look at the exchanges, like say like Celsius, which actually looks at lending money and borrowing money based on crypto. So you can keep cryptos as a collateral on these exchanges and this exchange can be used for borrowing and lending and they make money on that. So an exchange like Celsius has been, been has blocked all future withdrawals. It has almost gone into bank, bankruptcy. In fact, Goldman Sachs is actually looking at, to, at rescuing Celsius network by investing it into it at a very big discount value. If you don't want something to happen to your cryptos uh, like Celsius, the reason I say that because they're looking at generating a return of 18% for investors. If you put the, you can get a, basically what they promise on their network is that you can get a return of up to 18% on their network. Now understand something that getting a 18% return on your investment is quite high. And when you get that kind of return, the return does not get generated without taking risk. So you do not know where that money is actually being lent to or whom to is lent to. So a lot of people who are borrowing on this exchange are, are hedge funds and it's getting further invested, further on into risky assets. So if that kind of investment is, the, this kind of investment is there and they've invested into coins like Terra and Luna and those coins have actually crashed. Chances of you getting your money back is very low, and hence you've seen uh, you know flow, your accounts being frozen on on these networks. So any any exchange that tells you that they're going to give, generate a fixed return, like eighteen to twenty four percent, is actually not correct. Even coins promising 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 you that kind of fixed return guaranteed is is a recipe for disaster. So anything which you invest into and gives you super naturally high returns. You have to look back and see, okay, is that possible in the long run? If it is possible, who's done it? And there will be very few cases where this can be done on a regular basis. Second thing which you have to stay away from is stable coins. Now, stable coins, as the name suggests, is are supposed to stay stable because they're pegged against a currency or another pair or another crypto coin. The, how they do it is they use algorithms mostly uh, to do this pegging. And a lot of hedge funds have found a way of actually, as per the rumors, what are there on Reddit, uh, creating a downward spiral in these prices and these kind of currencies actually crash down. So you've seen pairs like the Iron and the Titan and Terra Luna f fall. So all these cryptocurrencies which use, which use algorithms to peg are uh, can be hacked into, go into a downward spiral and that those currencies can actually fail and your investment entire investment can be wiped out. So stay away from these kind of investments where pegging is there and then algorithms are used to peg the currency. Now which now which kind of investments you can make in the crypto space? I'll suggest that you look at two coins. First is the Bitcoin. We've already made a video about Bitcoins. So you can check out our video over here. The second thing which you can look at investing is into is into Ethereum. It started in 2016. It has seen a bubble which popped in 2017 and right now is available at a bargain price. The reasons why you should buy Ethereum is first for diversification. We already know that Bitcoin is basically a currency, but Ethereum is a smart contract. Second is 
as per the world economic forum it their survey and research shows that up to 10% of the world's global gdp would be stored and transacted with the help of blockchains and ethereum is the number one coin for doing that it is this truly can be used to make uh, decentralized apps which can prevent uh, uh, power being being held by few uh, social media platforms like twitter or facebook so you know all these uh, social media channels they hide content they can manipulate the content they they put censorship on content but ethereum can be used to make uh, platforms which are truly decentralized and give voice to the people apart from that you should look at diversification investing into cryptos do not invest only in one coin you can look at the second coin which is ethereum one more thing very important is from my ethereum's point of view it is actually the bedrock it actually helps you make smart contracts so it is a bedrock for innovation and a lot of micro grids charging stations for evs uh, crypto collectibles like nfts uh, mortgages healthcare records are all being stored on this platform so basically it is a platform which helps you use which helps you do other things on top of it so it provides a platform to make for for, for smart contracts and making apps on this platform so it is extremely useful and hence i we see value in this going forward already seen that ethereum actually has come back to its levels of around 84000 rupees as it was at in the high of 2017 18 and it is at this value right now so it's a good time to buy so, so when you're looking at buying cryptos be it bitcoin or ethereum there's something which you have to look, keep in mind is buy from reputable exchanges always use like a two factor key and strong passwords do not leave your cryptos on the exchange platforms uh, always use buy and use a you know a, a hard a best hardware wallet uh, invest only the amount which you're comfortable with do not invest on other people's as to how much your friends are investing do not get influenced with that only invest the amount which you can spare and afford to lose and which will not give you tension tomorrow that okay my money because cryptocurrencies fluctuate a lot a lot and a price movement is a lot so you can something which is which becomes 100 rupees can become 30 rupees or 20 rupees and you cannot exit at that point of time so only invest the amount you consider your comfort you you're comfortable with and you know always you know if you want if you feel the need to cash out do that and do not look at buying at all time highs or do not look wait for buying at all time lows timing always doesn't work everyone would actually like to sell at all times high and buy at all time lows but ideally invest gradually and if the market falls in further you can you can actually batch out your investments so buy on dips and diversification is the key diversify across assets and even in cryptocurrency diversify across two or three cryptocurrencies so i hope you've liked the video today and if you are investing into cryptocurrencies do let us know which cryptos you've bought and how has your experience been please if you're not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe to our channel so you get our future notifications thank you